Hi everyone! Ah, ah, oh, hello. <laughs> uh, is, is it going? Is it, yeah, is yeah. it really good? This going? is Xenia. <laughs> and. <laughs> I'm still not over the previous one. And this is Ildi. Nice to meet you guys! Il Ildi is a very, very lovely army. And uh, <laughs> as you can tell from the previous one, I'm a, an XOL. I'm still not really over Chenyo. I'll never be uh, say over. Home. And say home. Yeah, because I think. Yeah, that was very impressive how he wore that um, leather jacket-ish thing, uh, the like kind of like motorbiker mood without a shirt. I have to who, who? underline that without a shirt. So I think that was very impressive. Give him thumbs up because he did very good with singing as well. Well, well baby like, singing. And now there's it. another amazing uh, kind of is this, is this a comeback, Senia? Okay, because I don't know. Is are these like teasers or are these individual projects? No one knows it. No one well, knows. come on, this is, these are individual projects, okay. and uh, <sighs> speaking of comeback, Let's no one down. knows anything. I know that the guys are doing like new hair colours, and uh, that's always the reason, a sign. Obviously there is a, there is a sign, and uh, um, there is like a uh, fan theory going on that they do have their colours, and they have well, obviously they have the, the same fan colors. I remember we watched this when fan one, the, not the fan colors. That like their official colors. Don't they have like the official sigils and whatever? Is that related? Uh, well, that's not exactly what I was trying to say. Sorry, <laughs> no, it's, a, it's I was a so lie. happy you... to know something. <laughs> I was like, do you remember the comics thing that I uh, showed you? No. Mm -hmm. No. Which, okay, which comics? You mean the... we need to uh, to have a little throwback here. Uh, where I'll be telling you about the uh, comics thing. So when they're uh, with their last the, comeback, the, the, ah, okay. With their last comeback, they were having uh, comics released. So uh, with their superpowers in oh, place yeah. and whatnot. So those balls, like the fire, not the fireballs. So there were these energy balls. balls, energy balls, and uh, comics going on. And they had uh, special looks in that comics and obviously hair colors. So there is now a fan theory going on that mm. their hair colors actually reflect the ones that they had in their previous comeback mm. in that comics. So it's a continuation in the, of the story. We don't know. We don't know. They just uh, we only know that their current hair colors kind of reflect what was in the comics a year ago. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know when comeback will uh, will come back. <laughs> Uh, we only know that their hair, like, hair colors are reflecting those that were in the comics. Uh, I really wish I could know more. I've seen some uh, fan theories on the internet, but you know what? Mm. I'm I just gonna go and wait. <sighs> we never know, but they're now but... in Berlin. Sorry, when... they are now in Berlin. They all oh, because there is a special music bank yes. performance, and we are not there. By the way, this is a real, real, honestly, this is a real tragedy for for us now. Like, I mean, from a K-pop, obviously, put everything into perspective. But like, from like a K-pop fan perspective, guys, <laughs> EXO is in Berlin. Senior is in London, unfortunately, with no, ne not necessarily uh, enough financial resources to just to go to Berlin. Ildi and visa, and visa. Ildi, as an army. Did we did so many videos on BTS, as you guys know how big of a fan I am. And all the tickets were either sold out, or Let some sharks to, to, to. sharks bought the tickets, and now they are reselling it, starting from six hundred pounds to approximately actually the, the the most expensive ticket that I've seen, and this is legit information, is eight thousand pounds. So again, who is not going to a ticket? Who is not going to see BTS? Me, unless some miracle happens. So again, this is so unfair. I totally feel you. I totally feel you. We need to support each other, K-pop fans, because this is this is. Because I've never been to a concert. I've never had. been to a concert either, but I'm very committed, and this is going to be our segue into the next video or into this video, depending on how we edit this. Is <laughs> that personally, I'm um, very very into R&B, hip-hop, and indie stuff as well. So when I saw Baekhyun doing a song with Loco, who my love and actually have a realistic chance to see those people here in London because the tickets are not six thousand pounds anyway so like Elo is coming like, Simon Dominic is coming so it's like yeah like Simon Dominic is a really cool like Korean hip hop artist oh. 
So like those are the people are that I going? need to see. I'm hoping. If I if I get if guys if I get a promotion and we'll have enough money. Fingers crossed for Ilda to go there. Enough money to save up, then yes, I would love to go. Anyway, so when I saw Loco, I was like, Loco is the real deal. Loco is brilliant and obviously bacon is amazing. So what this could be only amazing. So I Okay. This is what happens with our light. Yeah, this is an actual representation of our life or how we feel about like we, the we, challenges. We didn't we do anything with them. Yeah, I mean, it just gets complicated without you trying. Lessons about life, everybody. It always gets complicated. But we can uncomplicate it with yeah. this. You can untangle all those problems with your friends. And back on the local. And back on the The soundtrack of my, uh, of my autumn. Is it? Okay. Okay. Strong words. And one, two, three. <laughs> this is much more intense. I was expecting something mellow. He's showing a different voice color, I like it. Huh? He's showing a different voice color, I like it, than I usual. Like the rainbows in the background. Let's go crazy. Such a simple idea with the paint. Love it. Okay, we're all going in circles. <laughs> there is a curious intensity to this song. And it's again young, just like the Chenyo song. Wait. Mm -hmm. mm. 
Yes. <laughs> okay, this is very good. Wow. This is very, very, very okay, good. Okay, okay. I need. I really need to uh, to know what you think about the song. I have very. I have a lot of thoughts. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's try to categorize things that I'm. I'm, I'm trying to think of. First of all, I think Loco, Loco is also a producer that we know. But probably many producers were from this song, so I'm not sure like who came up with certain parts. Anyway, I think it was uh, musically very interesting. It was kind of like between, you know, hip hop indie, like hip hop indie mood that you, we would have in the Korean uh, alternative music realm. But it it was poppy enough as well to kind of you know work on Musical the pop charts. Musical insights from LZ. So I think I think so. Anyway, what I was very impressed by first of all, Baekhyun's, um, and I think I mentioned this throughout the video, Baekhyun's, um, Baekhyun, it's Baekhyun. Yeah. Um, vocal uh, okay. vocal presentation I think he showed a different side of himself obviously the runs were something that we I don't know like, the, like that's something that we we kind of recognize mm -hmm. oh like that's him like mm -hmm. you can tell right away but during the verses there were he used a different tone which was really cool and I really hope that this will open uh, opportunities for him to be a more frequent collaborator when it comes to um, but he's like he is perfect in, uh, in collabs because he was doing like one with CZ, one with I'm not really sure if I uh, made him watch a couple of those. I we no. have to see it still because Rain, we are very much behind. And um, mm -hmm. it's uh, he he's known as like king of collabs, but in, in a way that it's like also with the underground yeah, music yeah, scene yeah. because like I know Rain you'd, li is, you'd like it. Rain is like still pop pops. No, no, I mean, I mean like the song was called Rain. Oh, so <laughs> I thought that's Rain, the uh, artist. <laughs> And that would uh, be cool. That would be. I mean, yeah. Uh, so, mm -hmm. so his yeah, I voice. Will have I more, mean, like his voice. voice. His voice. Uh, um, I really like. Well, he does show his voice really, really, really well in uh, different ballads, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna have a tour of uh, exit ballads, and uh, that's probably so gonna be her. my thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can tell. I can tell. And uh, probably about Beckham's collabs because um, cool. I do recognize him having this vocal. Well, I'm, I know nothing about music. This kind of like this, he can belt, for example. Out of yeah. the many things that he can do, he can belt. That that the because motive that he was doing, like yeah. was going all over the song. Yeah, I think generally what I what I liked about them, I know which motive do you mean, but if I'm honest, that that was not the motive that I I recognized first or like I noticed first. Mm -hmm. There were one of the motives that I I I've noticed was in the background and it was kind of like a synthy sound, which is kind of it's like it was going like it's kind of like a bit more up, but it complemented uh, the mo the main uh, motive of the song, which was sang by Bacon very well. So I think it was it was cool. It's almost like you know when you have the Harmonies in a song, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then it, it kind of like it, it's in going like, it's like what not, yeah. and whatever, and then they are coming back in certain areas. So it was kind of it's very it was very cool. It's almost like seeing different colored, different colored uh, little lines going yeah, back and forth and back and forth. Yeah, like, yeah. This is I actually have the same feeling just because I was listening uh, to it on repeat. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily you know very fast, but it was very, the intensity came from his voice, and it also mm -hmm. kind of like how Loco was rapping guys like it's just it's just great we already know that like that's settled so again but one i also want to talk about the video because i thought it was it looks very cool like it's kind of like this whole circular motion and mm -hmm. then i have to check out the lyrics mm -hmm. it's kind of like a circular motion and and it's kind of we are going in circles what's is there like is there like something outside of those barriers you're trying to color color the realm that you create for yourself so there was a lot of interesting and just because i just happened to know the lyrics but it's very what? It's okay, wait, 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 then I will, I will tell the rest of what I, what yeah, I kind yeah, of the visual yeah, that's language. what I wanted it. So, for example, like, every time when, when he opened the door, it went into another circle, like, the windows were all, all, uh, mm -hmm. like, cut out in a circle, and there was this, uh, um, the part of the plane as well, you know, uh, basically under the wings, you would have the, uh, you know, uh the tur turbines? Or something? Turbines, exactly. Yeah. So, you would, you would have those, like, again, there was an image of that, and I they, were, know, they were sitting in circles, they were also moving the camera movement like if you if you look at it from like a it's not like a 360 thing not like a 360 video but like they were always kind of following uh -huh, them uh -huh, I see. like this so the editing style also kind of you, you felt like you were also following them like wow. like this is how from a viewer's perspective I'm looking at you like this and then going in a circle and again so it almost felt I like they are condensed they're condensed in a in a room themselves 
so that was kind of like the, the impression of, of my you know visual kind of understanding and, it, and I liked it and I liked it very much I want to see it again to figure out what they did and how they did it and because there were a lot of interesting elements which kind of connect a bit you know ideas that I, that I could relate to but I'm not sure that was the intention what's the lyric? I, uh, you know what? I was going to tell you, but uh, now I really want you to go and read every single <coughs> line. Just because I really like how you interpreted it. And uh, I never actually uh, realized that it was going like in secular motions. Just, I, I was some before. of not everything, but some of the camera movements were like, yeah, you know, like yeah. it, it, sometimes it was a close up and like bacon. Na, 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 na. But it was also like the camera was following him and him, he was looking like, are you still looking at me? So he took the just, side of his face. He's just. And we were like, yeah, we are still looking at you. I can. So yeah, that's just that. But I do. At least give me the initial premise of the lyric. Uh, it's called Young. Okay. And uh, well, I don't know what the, uh, why they came up with We Young and Young uh, at the same time. Mm. But it's. Coincidence? Uh, and I don't think. So, we don't think so. And there is uh, Lei in China who came up with another uh, song lately. Like it. Do you want to watch it? Oh, well, I should. Yeah, we yeah, should. You should. So, honestly, I don't want to really go into details about the music lyrics, but it's uh, all about how just don't be afraid to do what, what you want mm, to do. Interesting. Very. Ah. I know you, you love this theme just because uh, I know that BTS does it so much in terms of this topic mm -hmm. so I like their interpretation too because BTS can be sometimes a bit too like hard hittingly blunt mm. you are like uh, 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 let me breathe uh, that's kind of because you just and I think EXO has like a EXO has a different approach to the topic like my my favorite one just because it's like a little bit oh, like it's still talking about the same things but a little bit of a um, metaphorical uh, yeah some, sometimes it, it is a definitely a different approach which yeah. is cool and this is why we like both yeah and awesome. Yeah, I mean, like, I really want you to go and read every single line. Okay. I really like that he'll do like the song just because. Uh, this still, this see, is uh, very much my. Music I I, I thought you're gonna like it, and uh, I really I really wanted to show it to her, and uh, it's, I I just don't know. I really like how they come up with different songs, and uh, they show themselves from different perspectives. And uh, this is not only the opportunity to back home to show off his wonderful singing skills, but also uh, just the lyrics, honestly. You know how how Ilze, um, how much emphasis Ilze puts on BTS lyrics, and I go and uh, read them afterwards. And uh, I don't, I don't read them before, just because I want to, I want to have an initial impression. And then, uh, yeah, that's what, what are you doing now? So it's, uh, I don't know, it's the first time you listen to the song. I actually didn't quite like it, because I was just, well, well, yeah, it was nice, but but then I just, I don't know, it, it happens with every single EXO song to me. I'm just listening to it, saying that, mm, well, it, it's all right, nothing special, probably, like, except the previous one. Um, so I'm mostly into like you know visuals and everything in the first time, but then, but then I start listening to it, and then it crawls into you, and then you you, you simply cannot live without it, and it just ruins my life. It builds it, it, it builds it again, just just in case, but it ruins it in the beginning. Yeah, wonderful insight of my life ruined by EXO. Well, it also oh, no, sometimes sometimes it ruins our our lives, but it also makes it so much better. Personally, it gives uh, me yeah. a lot of lot of strength. It, it's actually like uh, a little reincarnation every single time you listen to something. It's like, like there's like, a transfer. Ah. It's a transformation. Yeah, yeah. Say so, a transformative. Sorry, transformative process. Yeah. yeah, this is how I like to think about stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. <laughs> She's so it, clever, I love you. Because it was, you are so clever. <laughs> we are trying to be clever together, but that only happens if you try to learn from each other. So this is what we encourage you to do as well. Yeah, and no fan fans, wars. No fan wars, K-pop fans, XOLs, armies, net, all sorts of netizens and, you know, carrots and everybody. Love each other and support and, each other. Love yeah. K-pop together. See you very soon.